Hello everybody and welcome back to Gaming on Caffeine, my name is Isaac and today we have a quick little tutorial showing you how to get Sfax for the new Hexit 2 for Minecraft 1.6.4. Now just a quick heads up before we start, you do need to update your Hexit to 1.6.4, by default at the moment anyway, uh, it will still be 1.5.2. I'll put a link on screen to, uh, to a video I just did on how to upgrade Hexit to 1.6.4. You need to make sure you do that first, otherwise things are just going to break, textures aren't going to work and you're going to come and shout at me in the comments section and say everything's broken even though you just need to update your Hexit. But uh, without further ado, let's show you how to do it. So the first thing you need to do is open up your favorite internet browser and go to bdcraft.net. I'll put a link down in the description. You want to go to the Downloads tab at the top here. Scroll all the way down to Pure BD Craft for Minecraft. At the moment, it's here, but uh, they like to change the site around a bit. So just have a flick through. Make sure you find the right one. Uh, it should be Pure BD Craft for Minecraft. Click on that. Scroll down until you find, you don't want to ignore all these here. These are not the ones you want. These are for 1.7 and above. You want to scroll down to here for 1.6.4. It may be further down the list depending on whether or not 1.8 comes out and they like nudge things along like they have done here. Uh, so you want to do the MC 1.6.4 patch and you want to make sure you have either the 128X, 64X or 32X. You can go higher and do the 256X or 512X, but uh, those are harder to run and you'll probably know if you can run them or not. Basically, the higher the number, the higher the resolution Solution, the smoother the image looks, the less like blocky and pixely it looks, and of course the lower ones that don't look that good. 128x is the recommended version, and this is in fact the version that I use when I record my videos. So this is what we're going to use right now. We're going to click here. It's going to open up an add file page. Do please don't click on anything uh, in this space here, this big white box. Uh, only focus on this blue line at the top. Don't click anything in here, even if it says your download is ready, even if it said your facts from the tutorial Isaac video that sent you here is ready. Don't click it. Don't click any of it. It's not real. Click the skip ad in the top right hand corner here and it should take you to a download page like this and then it should start to download. If you're in Google Chrome, it'll download down here and if you're in Firefox, there'll be a little green arrow that lights up and it will start up here. And once it's done, you should have something like this either in your downloads folder or wherever and just stick it on your desktop for the time being. Uh, just a heads up, you are going to need a program called WinRAR for this. This is the, or you can use 7-Zip as well. Uh, that is the program that I have here that is going to open up the, um, the zips for me. So we can close that back down. Uh, we'll get back to that in just a second. And then you're also going to want to download this. I'll put a link in the description. This is the patch that I put together for the new Hexit. Uh, at the moment, it doesn't contain everything. The new Hexit has a lot of mods that are kind of, uh, I'm going to call them niche mods that don't have uh, a ton of people like supporting them, like mods like Thermal Expansion and Buildcraft, everybody knows about. This has a couple of little niche mods that not everyone uses and so therefore don't have Sfax patches. So not all the mods in Hexit have Sfax patches, so they're not all going to be nice and Sfaxed, but I have done my best to put together all of the mods I can find, and if they do add any more mods, or if any more come out, I will try my best to update this uh, as much as I can. At the moment of watching this, I only have a 128x patch, but uh, so if you're really early on watching this, as soon as it goes out, uh, you're only going to get to download the 128x patch, but uh, in a couple of hours, or maybe a day or so, I will hopefully have a 64x version and a 32x version of the patch as well. So we'll download that. Uh, you can mix and match, by the way. You can like have the 512x version of vanilla Minecraft and the 128x patch. That works just fine. Uh, most people just use the, the same ones both times, but you, you can mix and match. It does work perfectly fine. So once that's downloaded, that one is slightly bigger, and it is from Mediafire, which isn't the uh, fastest site to download from in the world. Uh, I will put an alternate link in the description for Mega. Mega is a bit faster, but people usually complain when I use Mega. So we'll let that download, and we'll come back to that in just a second. Okay, so once that's finished, we want to grab it, and again, we're going to stick it on our desktop, if we can move this here. Uh, and again, also, don't click anything else on this page. Only click that green bar. You don't want to be pressing any of the other download buttons uh, or stuff like that. And people do it all the time, and they come shout at me and say it doesn't work, or they got a virus, or anything like that. Just click this little green bar, and everything will be fine. So once we've done that, we can minimize that. We're done with the internet browser for now, and we should have two files on our desktop. Now, like I said, you are going to need a program like WinRAR or 7-Zip that can easily unzip and rezip and transfer between uh, zip files. Uh, I'll put a link down in the description to both WinRAR and 7-Zip. 7-Zip is free. Winrar is free for 40 days but then after that you get this annoying little pop-up and, and stuff like that so if that bothers you you can go for 7-zip uh, it doesn't really make much difference and what you need to do then is you need to open them up uh, if they don't open up with WinRAR by default, you can just right-click, open with, and then WinRAR, and you should have something like this. So what you need to do is you need to open up the assets folder of both of these. See, this one just has the vanilla Minecraft textures. This one has all of the mod textures I could find for the new Hexit. So you want to highlight all of these. Uh, alternatively, you can just click 
and hold down control A, and then you want to simply drag and drop them into the Sfax BD Craft 128X version of the texture pack. Press OK. Could take a little bit of time, just let it do its thing. Um, and when it's done, we should be pretty good to go. Okay, so we can close this down now. We don't need this anymore. You can delete it if you want and get rid of it. It's done. And what you want to do is, I would usually recommend uh, renaming this. You can close this down now as well. This one, for some reason, my desktop's playing up a little bit. But uh, you want to rename this one. I'll, you don't have to, but I'd like to rename it to, uh, like, Sfax for Hexit or something. Just so I remember what it is. Uh, Hexit 2... Something like that. And then in order to get it onto your game, you need to go to your start menu. You need to type in percent app data percent. Uh, if you're on Windows 8 and you don't have that start menu, you can just open up any folder and then click here somewhere and just type in the same thing. Percent app data percent. Click enter. It should bring something up like this. You will have somewhere a Technic folder if you've installed all this properly and have the new Hexit. You want to go to mod packs, Hexit resource packs and then you just simply want to drag and drop this actually I need to refresh because my desktop's been a pain you need to drag and drop your new hex uh, Sfax for Hexit 2 which we just made in uh, in Winra so if we see that's all the stuff we just did drag and drop that into there and then once you load up uh, Hexit you should have yourself the option to install the Sfax texture pack so we'll press play Again, please make sure you're on the latest version of Hexit, otherwise it will not work, it won't show up, and things will just be bad, or it'll show up, it'll be like grayed out. Uh, so it'll load up, it won't be faxed just yet, but you want to wait for it to load up, and then we can continue. So once that's loaded up, you want to go to Options, resource packs and simply double click on Sfax for Hexit 2 and give it a little bit of time guys uh, depending on how good of a PC you've got this can take a rather long time to load uh, the Sfax texture pack is a pretty big one 128x on its own is fairly big default Minecraft is 16x so this thing is pretty flipping big and if you don't have the, the world's best PC it can take a little bit of time uh, to load in there so just let it do its thing it may even go white and say loading but just and uh, probably say not responding up here as well but just let it let it go let it do its thing wait don't get impatient and then after that you can press done and you are good to go you can jump into your new world and all of your stuff will be nice and faxed which is flipping awesome because sfax just makes the world a better place so as always guys if you did enjoy the video or if it helped you out at all be sure to leave a like and if you want to see more hexit or cool and modded minecraft stuff be sure to subscribe and i will see you guys next time Bye bye